So in this demo, we're going to show how we use conditional access policies to allow different users access into our environment based on their location. To start with, we need the users. So here we can see two resources mapped here as blue icons. The blue icons signify within Structura that these are data sources. This means that it's going to fetch the data from the provider, in this case Azure AD, and bring that data back into Structura for us to use. So these are existing users and we want to add them to a new group that we're going to create. So we create a new group for our US based employees and we assign them back into that group. Next we set up a named location which we call USA uh, with a display name of United States and we can see that we set a country code of the US. So this is an ISO based country code um, and Azure is going to keep track of the IP addresses IPv4 and IPv6 addresses that are associated with uh, US IP addresses. And then finally for the policy, um, we connect everything together. So if we open up the policy and we go through this configuration, we can see that we're allowing access for all of the applications and we are going to essentially read the location of every user and any user that's coming from a location that is not United States, we're going to block it, which is at the bottom of here. Grant access controls, we're gonna block um, the users block that we can see here is going to tell the policy which groups does this assign to and we can do this on multiple different levels we could do this on a user basis on a group or on a role um, so in this demo we opted to go for groups so now we're going to bring it back to the EU users and we're going to show you how we mapped the EU users to this uh, conditional access policy so with the EU users, this time they are green icons which, or green nodes, which um, tells you that it's a resource. So resources mean that it's going to be something that's created within Structura and pushed to the provider. Um, so we have an EU user here. As I said, this is a resource we've entered in our configuration uh, for that user. And again, I'm going to go through the same process where we're going to assign that user to a new group that we're creating for the EU and then for the locations instead of just one country code, now we've got three. We have France, Germany, and England. Again, for the policy, very similar looking to the last one. Um, the notable change is now we are checking for the EU location instead of the US location. And based on that, we're gonna allow or deny that user entry. Um, again, se separating those groups of users so we can be specific on what is allowed and what's disallowed for different groups of users. With the infrastructure deployed, we can hop back into the Azure portal. <clears throat> and within the portal, we're going to navigate to Microsoft Entra. Entra used to be Active Directory. Microsoft recently renamed that. So if we go to Entra, conditional access, and look at the policies, we can see that we have two new policies. We have the EU location policy and the US location policy. If we click into the US location policy, we can see that everything that we had configured in infrastructure's code has now been deployed and applied to this policy. So specific users included to the group and it's the US conditional access location group that we created from Structura and the condition location is that we're going to check for any location that is not the US. And we're gonna block access if any of those locations are not the US in the grant policy. We have the same story for the EU location policy where we have our users assigned to a, a group with now called the EU conditional access location. The condition, very much the same. Any location that is not the EU will be blocked as stated in the grant access. We also created a new user. So if we go to the enter ID and user, we can see EU test user was also created as well. So in our current deployment, we have the EU policy, but the state is off, which means it's disabled. It's not being checked. Um, if I was to try and log in as that user now from as a user that's based in the US, 
um, it will still let me through, which I can show right now. Log in as the EU user. Uh, stay signed in, no. And it's going to let me get to this dashboard. If I go back to Structura, if we update the policy to enable it, hop back to my main user, refresh this table, we can see the state is now on. Now if I sign out of the user and we attempt that sign in again, I now get the message that I cannot access this resource right now. And this is based because of my or based upon my location, which we'll be able to see in the logs in a minute. It takes five to ten minutes for those logs to show up. Now, if I was to attempt to log in as the EU user using a VPN that is coming from the UK, it should allow me access into the portal. which it does. And now if I sign out, but if I attempt to sign in now as my US account, we get the same message we saw when I tried to sign in from the EU to the US that I cannot access any anymore on this account because it's coming from a UK location instead of the US.